My name is Georgia Ann Muldrow, and I'm an instrument of the ancestors. I work with Mad Lib, the beat conductor. I work with Erica Badu. I also work with Deb Hines, Robert Glasper, Mos Def. My love of production started when I heard uh, The Spinners, It's a Shame. When I heard that song, and I heard, it was like the hi-hats, everything started coming at me separately. It's a shame. All of this stuff is working together, but I knew somebody was back there making sure it was working together. It's like you could feel it. I think that that was a song that really made me go like, dang, that is a beat. That's a beat right there, you know what I mean? I love the machine. I've been working with it for years. I feel like it's added to my sound a lot. You know what I'm saying? I haven't wavered. It's my favorite pad controller because I feel like it can take when I'm dishing out to it. I'm on the hard setting, you know, we out here. I think it's definitely got me deeper into sound design. In the great traditions of people like Pete Rock and JD, and like, you know, automation is something very important. It adds currents of energy to your sound. And so I feel like hardware is really cool when you got a knob that you can assign to whatever parameter you need so that your sound is breathing on, you know, with the pulse of whatever you're doing. I feel like that's part of, for me, sound design, that's like the X factor. I feel like when I'm making beats and stuff, it's like a game of dress up. It's color, each sound has a color and some sounds are pretty. Delay reverb, that's definite makeup. I feel like I've devoted more of my beautification skills into my music than I have in like real life, you know? So like when it comes to beats, I'm a beauty queen. To prepare for a live show, I must breathe <laughs> and empty my brain out about how I should be sounding and just be willing to be open. Soul of a Nation. I think it took a minute for me to put everything together, but uh, I am a lover of art. I'm just happy all like most of my favorite artists in the world is under one roof. I think that's kind of like, it's overwhelming because I feel like art is like how sound is important to creation and actual matter. Light is the predecessor to sound. I don't think reading music makes you a better musician, you know? It makes you a different musician. But I think it's the emotional literacy behind the music and behind the writing, behind the performance, that really gives it its power.